Hi there, my name is Glenn. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Float. And I thought I'd spend a few minutes talking about the value of Float, how it can give your team the bigger picture to plan your client work better, and help your team run more efficiently. And it starts here with the schedule. This is the heart of Float. We put people first and their capacity for work. And you can look at things like time off, for example, that Amelia has, has parental leave over the next two weeks. That's blocked out. Alexander scheduled some sick leave yesterday, took that day off. And Ben had some paid time off earlier this week too. We automatically bring in your team's public holidays by region. So we can see, for example, that the Victorian team had have a public holiday on the 10th of March. Now, if you're coordinating skits between home and office, we support that via status. So you can see here that Alexander is working from home on Friday. And we also support custom availabilities. So for example, Christopher only works a four day work week. That Friday is blocked out. And once you've got everyone in here, you can start to look at their real capacity via these date range insights. I can see, for example, very quickly that Alexander is running hot here, red at 150% for this week. You can set the custom range here. This is this week. Um, now, I might want to quickly reduce that project down to 50% that week. Maybe these, that is actually 100% for five days. I can see Alexander is an engineer. Addison is an engineer, has some availability next week. Maybe I'll just quickly reassign it to Addison and that uh, utilization is now under for Alexander. So quickly making those adjustments. Once you've got all your folks loaded up here too, you can start to add the skills, their roles, the departments, and then use that data to filter down for the people you need for your next project. So maybe we want to filter down and look at the Wellington office. That's a simple quick search. And then you can add, maybe I need FinTech experience for this individual. You can add that too. And now I can quickly see there's three folks with FinTech experience in the Wellington office and Jacob is available for the next two weeks. Fantastic. You might want to save your favorite filters and that's possible via views here. I like to say the Figma folks in LA and the contractors in Melbourne. Click on that and you can recall those folks super fast. All right, you've got everyone in there, you're ready to go. Now you wanna get into project planning mode. You can jump over to the project plan and this is where you'll see all your active projects, the start and end dates, phases and milestones. Here you might wanna scan down too and see how all the budgets are tracking, the fees, the hours. I can see quickly that this Netflix project is running 12% over. What's going on there? I can expand that. I can see the team, their allocations, phases, milestones. I might wanna just click into that and start to see the project report, how that's all laddering up. And I can see, for example, the 150K budget starts to go over in scheduled hours around January. So I can use this information to quickly course correct maybe some of those hours scheduled into February to bring that back under budget. Here you can see your phases, you can see your breakdowns by tasks, team and time tracked. The reports is also where you can see your team's utilization and billability. And that's all here on the people report. I can start to see how uh, things are tracking as an organization on efficiency. You can break down scheduled as a percentage of capacity, billable as a percentage of capacity. You get the picture here. Now, if your team tracks their time, you can also look at those hours in logged and compare logged versus scheduled hours, past log versus future scheduled. And they can log in and quickly save themselves time by seeing their timesheets automatically populated here based on their scheduled hours. They can quickly log in one click. Maybe they make some adjustments. Maybe they kick off a timer. This makes their life super simple. If they want to make it even easier, they can just click this one button here and log all their hours for the week. I hope you like that. This is Glenn. I hope you enjoy uh, using Float and have a great day.